I've always had to find ways to make ends meet or be out on the street. So here are a few ways that I've saved money. Some may be obvious and some you may want to try and there's some that you may not want to try. Anyway, here it goes. When grocery shopping, make a list. Don't go in there and just go down every aisle and just load up your basket. I know if I do that, I'm going to buy a lot more than what I was in there for. Next is prepaid phones. I know somebody who tells me horror stories about their contract and how much it costs. I pay $9.99 for two hours and sometimes I get 30 bonus minutes and there's lots of good prepaid plans out there you should look into. I think pay as you go is the way to go. If you splurge and eat out this is what I do. Like if I get in a hurry and I have to get fast food, I will split the meal in half. I'll eat half right then and eat the other half for supper. That way you don't have to spend money on supper. Here's another food related one. Eat your groceries before you buy new groceries. So many times I've seen people buy stuff that they already have. It looks good in there, but they never eat it. Like all the vegetables go bad and they keep buying them. Go through your pantry and make some meals before loading your pantry up again. Used vehicles. I think it's a good idea not to have vehicle payments. When times are tough, you don't want that vehicle payment. So always set aside money for your vehicle, whether it's saving to buy another one or for repair, because you're going to have to spend no matter what. And these pictures right here, these are pictures of my used trucks. Okay, I don't want to say don't eat out, because that's too harsh for a lot of people. But don't eat out all the time. Get your calculator out and add it up. You will be astonished at how much you are spending in the restaurants. You can eat at home for a fraction of that cost. And it's fun too. Learn how to cook. Sell everything. For me, if I haven't used something in a year, it's got to go. It might hurt a little bit because I think that I might use it and I like the way it looks in my closet, but it's just weighing you down. Get some money for it, pay your bills, let it go. This is a real general one, but don't buy stuff you don't need. A lot of times you can get by just fine with what you have. And you always think, if I just had this device, my life would be easier. And that stuff starts stacking up, and before you know it, you spent thousands. Don't do it. Stay out of Best Buy. Here's one for the summer months. Use your fans. If you can circulate the air around your house, you can keep it cool. Have a little air blowing on you. And you won't have to run the air conditioner as much. Just get used to it. You'll save money. Accept leftovers. If you're out at your family or friends and they offer to give you leftovers, take it. Carry Tupperware in your truck all the time or your car and load up. You will save money by not buying meals. This might be a tough one for a lot of people, but cut cable. I've never had cable. I just don't watch a lot of TV. But I'm surprised at what I can find on YouTube. 
They have great documentaries, movies. Any topic you want to look up, you can make a playlist. Sit back and enjoy. And if there's something from a network that you like, you just go straight to the network and you can watch episodes. I'm also a member of Netflix. Sometimes I will also go to Amazon and pay per episode. The Ultimate Fighter. Pay as you go. I don't want to pay for any package for a lot of stations that I don't watch. And the last one is thrift store clothes. Thrift stores have come a long way. You can find really nice clothes at good prices in thrift stores. Well that's all I can think of right now. If you have any good ideas on how to cut corners and make ends meet, save money, feel free to list it below. Thanks for watching.